Now, an incredible discovery now unveiled for the first time ever in Israel, a complete sentence written in ancient Canaanite found at the dig site in Tel Lachish. The discovery made by a joint team of Israeli and U.S. researchers from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the Southern Adventist University, and the inscription, a sentiment that is all too familiar despite its ancient origins. It's a spell to eradicate head lice, carved into the face of a small double-sided ivory comb dating back to around 1700 BCE or some 3700 years ago. In just 17 ancient characters, the inscription reading, may this ivory tusk root out the lice of the hair and the beard. And it seems to have been a useful spell, with the remains of a headlouse nymph still stuck between the teeth of the comb. But far beyond the function of the message, the inscription described as a landmark in the history of the human ability to write, as it serves as direct evidence for the use of the alphabet in daily activities at the time and region. In fact, the quality of the craftsmanship also pointing to the literacy of lay people in the region, as the scribe seems to have etched the text in upside-down rows as he looked for blank space. Further, the letters aren't perfectly aligned, and they get smaller and smaller until the last letter etched is in a row of its own, as the writer apparently ran out of space. Also, according to experts, the script is written in the style that characterizes the very earliest stages of the Canaanite alphabet's development, nearly 200 years after the oldest Canaanite inscriptions found in the Sinai. And nearly all other discoveries of Canaanite inscriptions in places like Syria and Egypt appear in a different script. Canaanite is referring to a group of ancient Semitic languages, the only living descendant of which being Hebrew, which was revived as a spoken language in the 19th and 20th centuries. Today, it is the official language in Israel.